friends, Sarah from Sweet Scents from the Dollhouse. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're returning waxy, as always, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a little teeny tiny Easter melting basket uh, to show you what I've been melting this holiday weekend, as well as I'll include some of our Easter pictures of fun and nonsense. It was hilarious this morning. Ella woke up and she always sleeps with a nightgown and no bottoms on. So I was telling her last night, I said, the Easter bunny's coming, you have to go to sleep. When she woke up this morning, I was like, the Easter Bunny's been here, so exciting. And she snaps up out of bed and she's like, Mom, need to get dressed. Bunny, go you see my bum. <laughs> she literally thought that he was like here for the day to hang out and play. So she was a tad bit disappointed. Um, the first thing I've been melting this holiday weekend is Bath and Body Works Pink Petal Tea Cake. I have chunked this bad boy up. So I've got these cute little bunny shapes, as well as I want to show you some of the, oh, here's one. Look how cute that is. Little chick in an Easter egg. Uh, my girl Cindy and Marissa sent these to me in a little random act of kindness friend mail a while ago. I love them. So thanks Cindy and Marissa for sending me those. I have used them in, ooh several candles now just whether it's Easter or not I don't care they're so dang adorable so first off is pink petal tea cake from Bath and Body Works secondly is sweet memories from DD Hobby Lobby wax this is spun vanilla sugar rock candy and gummy treats I'm not typically one for like the uber sweet candy scents but I thought I'd give this one a try um, from sensationals I've also been mixing violet sugar with Sensational's sugar cookie dough. Um, what else? Uh, Better Home and Garden's vanilla cookie crunch or just violet sugar on its own is really nice this time of year. I'm down to three cubes. Yeah. The other day I was melting this all over the dollhouse, so that was nice. Um, to get rid of the nasty smell of cabbage that's happening right now, Cindy and Marissa also sent me some of this citrus and eucalyptus leaf. I'm going to be melting this to get rid of the stink. Ugh. I don't like the smell of cabbage. <laughs> Makes the dollhouse smell like dirty feet. Not a fan. <clears throat> From Scentsy. Oh, I've got a lot of Scentsy here. So, happy birthday. I love this one on its own or as a mixer. This was from a Bring Back My Bar not so long ago. I also have this in my Scentsy subscription. We're going to be melting a lot of happy birthday here at the dollhouse because Tatum turns 19 which is the Canadian legal drinking age uh, this coming weekend. So I will share some of the photos from that party that's happening. I'm so excited. It's going to be a shit show. I cannot believe my baby is 19 and I'm going to the bar with her. Crazy. Uh, next one is Sensi Sweet Plum Pastry. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that Sweet Plum Pastry is one of my diehard go-to scents any time of year. Also, I brought out a My Wish bar because I love Scentsy's Marshmallow. It is gorgeous. It's fig, marshmallow, and something else. Oh, I'm eager to melt that one once the nasty cabbage smell goes away. This one was actually sent to me from Cindy and Marissa in Regina, Saskatchewan as well. I've been hanging on to it, hoarding it. I would melt My Wish any time of year, but that marshmallow scent is gorgeous at Easter time. We also have Cotton Candy Cookie, which was one of Gracie's favorites. It's no longer available, but I adore this scent, especially considering, as I say, oh yeah, I'm not one for the overly ooey gooey sweet scents. Look at the sweat on that bad boy. It is our last Cotton Candy Cookie, so we will be enjoying that. As you can see, it's leaking everywhere. So gross. Um, comment down below, for those of you who are ordering from the new Scentsy catalogs, do you find that the wax is as sweaty as the old ones? I'm not sure because they, I believe they've reformulated or they're using less fragrance oils, so maybe that sweating issue has rectified itself. Who knows? I'm also melting my only sunshine. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, this is my go-to scent. It makes me so happy. And look at what a hot mess this clam is as well. Ew. So it's time to get rid of those ones and enjoy them. Last but not least, right now in the dollhouse bathroom, I'm melting Shimmer. This is a Scentsy Brick. Remember the duos that came out, Sugar and Shimmer? 
This one is the one that I was going to snooze on. I was just going to get sugar. I'm so happy that I grabbed Shimmer because I absolutely adore this scent. I believe it is in the current Scentsy catalog, so check that out. Um, from the Bathing Garden, I am melting World Through the Keyhole. This is Sweet Vanilla Cream Sandalwood and Musk. I was sent this last May, and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping it's well and cured. Nobody does presentation quite like the Bathing Garden. Like, look how adorable that little bunny is. Just the slightest amount of mica glitter. I get mostly sandalwood and musk. I love this scent. And it's so cute. I'm hesitant to chop it up, but I do have a couple spares. Uh, what else? Oh, I'm looking forward to getting into this adventure melt collection or at least trying them from super tarts um again not a big fan of candy scents and if you do like candy scents go to super tarts and check out the adventure melts collection this one is marshmallow fluff purple cotton candy and strawberry when i was sent this it barely had any scent and that's surprising for super tarts nothing super fancy on the inside and it still has very little scent, so I'm looking forward to putting some heat on this bad boy and seeing if it changes into something. I have Princess Bubblegum, which is bubblegum, cotton candy, frosting, and strawberry. Lemon Grab, which is tart, lemon drop, sugar crystal, and cotton candy. I have melted one of these, and it is a banger. If you want, like, a knock you on your butt lemon scent, that is it. Ice King, Blue Raspberry, Jolly Ranchers, Whipped Cream, and Red Raspberry. Cute little penguin on the inside. I get that Blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher on top note, but we'll see how that goes once it's melting. And last but not least, Lady Rainicorn. This is Rainbow Sherbet and Fruit Punch. This is a really old clam, but it doesn't matter. Still throws like a beast. Next from Rose Girls. I'm melting, oh, sorry, I have to move. Vanilla Crunch Donuts. This is great on its own or as a mixer. Currently, I'm melting that with Rose Girls Raspberry Sauce. If you want a raspberry, like true, true, true raspberry, go to Rose Girls. I mean, this scent, if I melt it in my bedroom, I should, might as well just turn off every other melter in the dollhouse because it takes over. It is super powerful. <clears throat> Nothing else from Rose Girls, but Vintage Chic Scents. We're melting Sunny Side of the Street. This one is Lemon Curd, Buttery Cake, and Coconut Cream. I am really craving the lemon scents. Vintage Chic Scents also does beautiful presentation. These ones are this yellow color. There's coins in there, as well as this orange. So pretty loving oh yeah I can't even open that makes me want to empty every melter in the house and start with sunny side of the street love that one. Oh, I missed one from super tarts this is yellow brick road I know some people go nuts when this is available in the pre-order band bags it's french baguette whipped cream and lemon eclair those scent notes are amazing but I find this one really really light I also to give it some leeway, I was trying to melt it in a like totally open space, like 800 square foot room. So perhaps I need to try it in a smaller environment. Then from Sassy Girl Aroma, I have lemonade, orange sherbet, and whipped cream. I am, if I was to guess, I'd say that Sassy Girl is primarily a paraffin based wax. And Sometimes, I don't know, I'm so hit or miss with this vendor because I have a lot of older Sassy Girl Aroma that barely has any scent left. This one, on the other hand, I didn't realize that the fragrance oil had ate the bottom of the bag. And if you see it, that's wide open. But this wax is still super, super, super powerful. So I'm guessing there's a lot of paraffin in there. That was an older one that was sent to me in a D-stash, like one of my very, very, very first vendor wax d stashes so i have no idea how old it is and she changes the label so often i couldn't even guess when it was poured but 
thankfully it still has lots of scent. I also have violet sugar petals and marshmallow. When I first bought this, it didn't have a lot of fragrance to it. So again, I know I always say, put your wax away, come back to it a month later and see if it's cured because those fragrance oil molecules need time to stick to the wax. Um, they're, they're basically like two opposites that have to combine together. Cure time is important, not for all wax, but if there's a little teeny tiny bit of soy and depending on the strength of the fragrance oils the vendors are using, it could take time to cure. Not all, but some. Um, this one is so beautiful now. I love violet mixed with pretty much anything. So love this one and enjoying it sparingly because I'm, I don't, I don't order from this vendor anymore. I don't know. Comment down below. Do you know any other vendors that have really great violet scents? Because I'm eager to try some. Ooh, who was it? Kim Hart's Organizing did a haul from Satin Susie. And I've seen Sasha Isms do multiple hauls from Satin Susie. I, I'm so ready to just give her my credit card number. Next, we have Southbound Soap. I've been saving this old dilapidated bag for so long. This is Marshmallow Bunnies, which is sweet cream, whipped marshmallow cream, marshmallow fluff, crispy treats with sugar crystals. This was poured in March, March 30th of 2017. So it's time to melt this bad boy and stop hoarding it. Ooh, that might be good with the raspberry sauce as well. From Southbound Puppy Love, I'm sorry I don't have the scent notes for Thank you. 